We would like to extend our deepest love and sympathies to all those of the Muslim community and others that have been affected by this tragedy. I think as a, as a nation, we are all affected by it. And in particular in our state, we hope that each of you are, uh, are using your heartfelt prayers and to pray for and help uh, those that are that have been affected by this tragedy and find ways in which uh, in your within your families or as individuals that you can do something to to give light to this uh, dark day in our history i'd like to introduce my wife megan who would like to share a, a couple of thoughts with you. president nelson has told us and reminded us that as women we have power to shape the future in light of the tragedy in Christchurch, as women and as sisters in the gospel, we have that opportunity to shape our response and our reaction to such tragedy. Ideas that would be helpful for us as mothers and sisters and aunties and other just companions in society would be to turn off the media and not access social media where we continually are bombarded by the darkness of the tragedy. Rather, we should look for the light and opportunities to serve and to replace the darkness with light. This might include looking for opportunities to serve in our homes and in our communities, to replace the negative with the positive, to be aware of our children and what they're watching and what they're hearing and what we're talking about in front of them. Be aware of what they have access to by social media and on the internet. Have those discussions with them. Make sure they know they are safe and that they are loved and that they too can be part of the solution. I think my wife has, has mentioned a couple of uh, lovely thoughts about how we can um, move forward with the tragedy that has taken place and that we can not dwell on those things. Remember the social media has no boundaries. There are no filters with it. And so we need to be careful about how uh, we view those things and, and making sure that we have a balance in our life where we are working with our families, with friends, with those that we know and associate with that might be struggling uh, with this tragedy that has taken place and look for positive reinforcements. Look for those great uh, principles in the gospel that help us to use the atonement of the Saviour to, to uh, give us hope, to give us light, to give us peace. I uh, like to bear our testimony of these things and uh, grateful for each of you. And we say this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.